Hello, everybody, and welcome. Andrea Trevsky here with Dental L Tutoring. I had just had um, a session on Perio with my students about 10 minutes ago. It was about an hour and 15 minutes, so we, we talked about a lot of things, okay? Because I love Perio, and if you don't yet, you should too. I mean, I shouldn't say that I love Perio because that sounds funny. I don't love Perio, but I love talking about it. I love helping people learn about it, and I love helping you know how to explain it to your patients because you're all probably thinking, okay, I know what perio is, I know the textbook, but how do I explain that to a patient? Okay, so you do, um, I did post a YouTube video about how to explain it to your patients about a couple days ago, so have a look. Um, but today, I would like to ask you guys some questions on Perio. So I'll just be talking about it a little bit and asking you guys some questions. So these are actually the questions that I did ask um, in our session um, this morning. I had a lot of questions, so we actually didn't even have time to go through all of them, um, but they have the full um, PowerPoint afterwards anyway. So if you need help with um, perio, pharmacology, oral pathology, anything, sign up for the full um, board exam prep academy because we go through all of that. We, we have a session twice a month for an hour where we go through mock exam questions. Plus, you have your um, very own membership login area that has um, uh, PowerPoints on every single topic plus a mock exam um, package with at least 50 questions. It's usually 100, but depending on the topic because we also talk about it live twice a month on Sundays at 9.30 Eastern time. And the nice thing is that if you're not able to come to a session, that's okay because I um, record all of them. So you can listen to them as many times as often as you want. Okay, so without further ado here, let's go through some mock exam questions, shall we? So I will not be going through all of them, obviously, um, because there's a ton, and I'm sorry, now I can't find them. So let me just pull that up again for you guys. Let's see. I did have a couple things up, so I think that's why. There we go, I found it. Okay, so this is actually not the first slide. This is um, for our mock exam question session. There were about, how many slides is that? I can't see with my webcam. So there's 42 slides. And we had got up to, I think, 20, I think it was. So we talk a lot, you know, because I want you all to know all about a certain topic per week, okay? So there's always something to learn. But today we did do perio. So let me just ask you guys some questions and see where you're at. And keep in mind that as I'm going through the questions, if you're not sure, or if you're thinking, oh my God, I have no idea, then it's time to look through your notes, okay? That means that um, this topic um, perio is something that you need to study more on. And if you need help, let me know because remember, I have like everything for all of the topics. So you don't necessarily have to open up your textbook ever again because I have notes that I made myself on every single topic that are a lot more exciting to read than a boring textbook, okay? So, but let's go through some questions first. Okay, so what is sub um, gingival curatage. So I'll give you guys a second to think about it. And if you need longer to think about it, feel free to stop um, the video and then push play when you're done because I'll be um, talking about the answers. So A, B, C, or D. So what is sub gingival curatage? The answer is A. Okay, so hopefully you all got this right. So A pretty much means that there's soft tissue inside the pocket that is not healthy, okay? So if your patient has a four, five, six, or, or um, more millimeter pocket, that means things aren't healthy because you have to think, well, how did that pocket form in the first place? Because there, there you know, um, is too much plaque and too much tartar in that pocket. And if the plaque and tartar is left um, there, then more plaque forms and then 
plaque harbors a, um, a lot of the bacteria. So if the patient's not able to clean it properly, then you know there's a lot there and it's not healthy because your toothbrush is only able to reach about three millimeters underneath the pocket. So as soon as the patient has four or more, they're not able to clean it properly. So they need your help to help clean it. And they should be coming in every three months because the more um, plaque they have in there means the more bacteria. And once they have a four millimeter pocket, it is easier to get a five, six, or seven or more pocket if they're not cleaning it properly. So you can tell them they need what's called, make it sound fancy, a subgingival curatage. And they're probably thinking, what? What's that? Well, that's what happens when you don't brush twice a day and floss every day, right? Exactly. So all of these answers sound like the right answer. So plaque and tartar from the pocket, yes, that's what you're doing, but more specifically, it's soft tissue that you're actually taking away. So sub um, gingival curatage means there's tissue in there that if you don't take that off, then they can't heal up properly. So does that make sense? Yeah? Okay, hopefully. Hopefully it makes sense. Any questions, just let me know. Okay, um, so what is the purpose of an open flap um, curatage? So you have to know what these things are. So if you're looking at these questions thinking, oh my God, I have no idea what she's talking about, that's okay, but it means you, you have to look at the notes again in your textbook or the notes that you have. If you need help, sign up for my course because I have all of the notes right there for you. So it is a lot easier to study because if you're looking through, say, um, the mock exam package here, and you're thinking, I don't know what she's talking about. I think I will stop looking at the questions because I need help. I have notes for that mock exam package for you to study from. So then after you look at the notes, you say, okay, now it makes a lot more sense. I know a lot more. And then you look at the mock exam package. So it's perfect. I make it easy. I have been doing this now for 13 years and I love it. I love it. Okay, guys, sorry. So let's go through the answer here. So B is the right answer. So that means they actually take away your soft tissue. I mean, sorry, that's not the right word. They don't take it like off permanently. They um, open it up so they're able to um, look inside the pocket. So does that make sense? So this isn't something you would do, you know, normally at your three month cleaning because I'm not able to just like open it up, thankfully, because ew, that's not something that I would want to do. But um, the gum specialist needs to um, open that up and then clean inside and then put it over. So does that make sense? So this is when they have a deep pocket or even if they have say like a five um, millimeter pocket that doesn't seem to be um, able to be cleaned properly, they need this to happen. Okay, so does that make sense? Um, and the rest of the answers doesn't really make sense to be honest. Um, so that's why they're wrong, but if you aren't sure with something, just let me know. And that's a nice thing too of being a part of my course that we are live twice a month. So if you have any questions, then is the time to ask me because I'm live and I am happy to answer anything. Okay, next one. What is a cellular cementum? So you need to know the different types of cementum. Don't forget that. For the real world, honestly, you guys, you don't have to know it, but if you're still in school or taking the board exam soon, you gotta know this. So if you're not sure, stop, and this is something that you need to look up. Okay, so acellular means no cells present, and I even have a little cheat note for everybody here. What's the difference between acellular and cellular? Okay, so you guys have everything here, it's awesome. And this is inside 
um, the um, Board Exam Prep Academy and the um, Dental L Student Program if you're still in school. So if you're still in school, the um, um, Dental L Student Program is the one that you want. But if you want to study for the board exam, then you need the um, full um, board exam prep academy, which are amazing. Every course is amazing because I talk about everything for you guys. So I make it easy, okay, easy. So you don't even have to open up your textbook anymore because I know it's boring. Okay, let's go through one more, shall we? Oh, and I have it here too anyway, perfect. So this one's kind of easy. What is the um, periosteum? Does it cover the inner bone, outer, the entire bone, or the superior? Actually, this is kind of a hard question because you all probably know what this is. But if you think about it, what part of the bone does it cover? And these are the types of questions that are on the board exam. So that's why you need my help so that I can help you with the hard stuff. The hard stuff and the easy stuff. But I like to talk about the hard stuff because if you know the easy stuff, or I should say, if you know the hard stuff, you will know the easy stuff. So what do you think? Let's see who gets this right. It covers the outer surface of the bone. And all of the students always say inner surface. No, you don't need something to cover the, the um, inner surface of like anything, right? So this covers the outer surface and I have a perfect image right here for you. So does that make sense? Yeah? Is everybody okay so far with a perio? So these were only a couple questions, okay? So as you can see, I had a lot more slides. In fact, I'll show you guys. Let me just stop sharing my screen for a second. I'll show you guys um, the PowerPoint that we actually talked about in our session today. Let me just move my webcam for a sec. Okay, so just, just to show you guys really, really quick here. So for example, so we have a session twice a month on a certain topic. So this Sunday, or I should say today, we talked about perio. Sorry guys, I just kind of feel like I gotta move my webcam so it's straighter. Okay, so we talked about perio. So this is here, 97 slides. So obviously we can't talk about the whole thing per hour, but this whole thing was inside your membership login area. So the students look at the notes um, first and then they attend um, the live session after. And then um, the questions that I was talking about earlier, we will talk about all of the questions. And for the question session was 47 slides. Um, and this one here is 97. So as you guys can see, there's a lot here. So it's so much easier to look at the notes than it is to look at the textbook, right? Because, and these notes make a lot more sense. They're, they are a lot easier to understand, especially if um, English is your second language. This makes it a lot um, easier than, let's say, if you were to look at the textbook. This looks boring and it's confusing, let's be honest. This is so much so much easier. So I have taken the time, it took me years, to look through every page of the main textbooks and put it in here. And as you can see too, I do highlight the main points also. So you will learn literally everything without having to go through your textbook again and again. So can everybody see this? So this is part of um, the PowerPoint that I did put up in the membership login area for the Perio session, awesome, awesome. And then we go through the mock exam questions um, in our live session as, um, as well. And then on top of that, there is a separate mock exam package. So as you guys can see, you learn everything about Perio in a much easier to study way. And just in case you're curious, do I have the mock exam package up? Oh yeah, and I'll show you guys something else that's a lot of fun. There's also a chart that I posted for my lovely students. You see this? So they can have the full chart to study from. So if you're thinking, okay, the different types of perio and gingivitis, what are the bacteria associated with them? Because you have to know that, right, for the board exam. They're all right here. So it makes it so much easier to study. And I talk about the process of inflammation right here, easy to study. Um, and where's my mock exam package? Because 
everybody loves the mock exam questions, right? Because those are the most exciting. So I'll show you guys that too. I'm just kind of moving my screen here. So if this is something you want, you should be a part of the board exam prep academy because I go through everything. This is what it's like for all of the topics. So if you're thinking, well, I need help with oral pathology, same thing. You will have a full PowerPoint, a full mock exam package, plus we have um, a live um, session. So we just talk about it all the time. So it is always up here. So even if it's something you don't quite understand the first time we talk about it, there's always another time. And then you have the mock exam package to look at. It's perfect. So it makes it a lot easier for all of you. So just as an example, here's some simple but not so simple mock exam questions. So what I do ask my students to do is I do ask them to go through the notes um, and then to attend our um, session live to ask any questions where I will also be um, talking about some mock exam questions. But then after that, I tell them to look at the notes again and then to look at this mock exam package to make sure they understand a little bit of everything. So it's pretty neat, eh? Lots to learn. So if this is something you would like, let me know, you guys, because it's pretty awesome. And for, the, um, for all of my um, courses, you have full access, full access for four years. And I do that because sometimes, you know, life happens. So if you're taking Let's say you plan to take um, the board exam and then life happens and it takes you two years, you know, to take um, the exam. That's okay. You have full access to everything until you pass the board exam. Or um, for those of you who sign up for my um, Dental L student program when you're in your first um, semester, depending on where you, you um, live, your course could be two years, three years, or up to four years. So you have full access to everything for four years. So it's awesome, right? It's awesome. So if you want to sign up, um, I'll put the link at the bottom of the video here. You will have full access to everything right away. So it's pretty awesome. And you can see me twice a week, right? Yay, exciting. I don't know, maybe, right? Okay, perfect. So I hope this helped. If you have any questions, please let me know anytime. And I will see you guys in the next video.